In this video, I am going to show you how to do the unboxing and complete setup of your HP Smart Tank 7602 all in one printer. So, let's start with the unboxing. So it comes with the ink so that lasts up to one year. Take the print heads. So these are two print heads that comes with this printer. Now remove the protective tape. Take the ink bottles out of this box. Power cable is here. So we have set of four ink bottles. Plug in the power cable at the back of the printer. Press the power button. Once you switch it on, you will see the screen is on the top of the printer and also there is greenish light here. Once you hear this sound, that means your printer has started. Also you will see the purple light on the front of this. Let's do the initial setup. So, so go to the printer display panel. So this is a touch screen control panel. Select your language. Confirm it. Select your country of residence. So you can scroll and check your country. Confirm. Once you see this QR code, go to your smartphone. You can use Android phone or your iPhone and open the HP Smart app. You can download this app from the app store. In the app, we have to add the printer for the wireless setup. So click on the plus button on the top. Your printer is already in the setup mode because there is a purple light on the panel. That means it's ready. So click on the set up a new printer get started. Select HP Smart Tank 7600 series. You will also see it confirms on the screen that the Smart Tank printer is identified. On the next page it will display the Wi-Fi network of your home or office. Make sure your iPhone or Android phone is already connected to the Wi-Fi network. Now you have to enter the password of your Wi-Fi. Click on the continue. Touch the check mark on your printer display. Confirm. You can see it's connecting to Wi-Fi. All the information you can see on the printer display screen. Connected with the Wi-Fi. Click continue. Accept all printing services. Next step is to select your ink bottle. So it is a kind of screw cap bottle. So select it and click continue. Next step is to fill the ink tanks. There is another good thing about this printer, there is a light in the ink chamber. Now you have to lift it from this section. Once you hear the lock sound, that means it is locked. In the ink chamber, remove this seal. And open the ink door. In the ink chamber, let's start filling the ink. Take the ink bottle out of the plastic packaging. Also open this cap. Open the ink tank cap. You just have to place it here. Now push it down. So it takes a little pressure on it. Ink is completely filled in. Just shake it little bit and take it out. Close the cap. Close this lock. Let's go for the magenta. Press it down. Just shake it little bit and take it out again. So it takes few seconds to fill in. Press the third. Now close this. Close this chamber as well. Other side. 
just lift it and open this cap so it's completely filled in so it can take up to 135 ml easily now take it out close it now close it scroll ahead so we have filled in the ink so press it down from this side press ok on the screen as we have filled in all the four ink ink tank filled successfully continue next step is to open the ink door again and we have to install the print heads so the print heads will not move until we follow each step again lift it from this side print heads move into the middle you will see the ink has already arrived here now press this lock it will open this section you can lift it remove this orange seal take the print heads out of the plastic packaging remove the orange seal from here also remove this orange seal at the back now place it here and press it down so it should settle itself remove this seal also remove this orange seal from the print head place it here now close this lid so press it down and lock it now close this chamber so press it down from the side and let it go press ok on the screen print heads installed successfully continue next step is to load the paper paper tray is in the front just take it out remove this box adjust the size so you just have to press and pull it load letter size or A4 size paper and close it you will see the confirmation paper is loaded continue you can print the alignment page so click continue paper output tray is here so this is the alignment sheet we have to scan it so scroll ahead open the lid now take the sheet and place it here like this so it should be on that corner close it and click on the scan so this new printer has a very good features you can see how the scanning looks like so it displays everything on the screen alignment is complete click on the yes button click continue if you want you can select auto updates for your printer and apply on the next screen we can see the setup is complete and we can print welcome sheet or you can skip it on the next screen it will display a link if you want you can share it with the other devices or you can skip it so we have done the setup click all done on the next screen you will see estimate level of ink, name of your printer and all the icons are available. So that's the complete setup of this printer and now we are ready to use it for wireless printing and scanning. If you want to use it with a Windows laptop, PC or your Macbook then you can download the HP Smart app there and you can just simply add it. Or if you are doing the first time setup you can do that setup even with your Windows laptop or Macbook still you have to use the HP smart app now this printer also has a ADF tray on the tip 
that means you can scan multiple pages using this and also you can use the scanner where to scan photo passport or ID now the ink tank lasts up to one year so overall I can say this printer is really good for home or office use and this is a wireless printer even though if you want to use it with the USB cable that is not provided with the printer you have to buy it separately you simply plug in the USB cable at the back of the printer and connect it with your laptop or PC hopefully you enjoy the video thanks for watching